Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to make a transaction from an account to another account, but this time we will be using a contract as an intermediary between this transfer. And to help us with our exercise, we we will use these two functions. The first one is actually just letting us to deposit some ether inside the contract, and the second one is a is a is a balance viewing function. We will be checking our balance before and after we call uh, we call the function that we will be creating right now so let's first create a simple function and this function obviously from one one account we will send ether to another account isn't it so to, to, to specify which account it is we will use function parameters so here we can say address receiver and later but I should say address underscore receiver and later we will also specify the amount that we want to send so I will say uint underscore amount and the rest is easy actually we just need to create a call function so we will say and as you might remember a call call function is returning two values one of them is a boolean which is telling us if our call is successful or not and the second one is a bytes data regarding the function that we are calling but in this case we are not making any function call we are just sending eaters and for that reason we can leave this area empty and then we can just grab the address here inside the parameter area dot call open some curly braces and here we can specify the value we will say underscore amount and then we will open again a parenthesis. This parenthesis will also stay empty because we are not going to make an, any function call. And now we can say require success. If not successful, then it means it's failed. And that's it. If I leave the function like that, it will work, but it will work for this purpose. Okay. From contract to account. But if I want to make this function uh, make this function for this purpose from account to contract and contract to account then I need to add one simple thing I will add payable here okay so now this contract will receive ether from the message sender and then it will send that ether to the account that we specify here okay that's it actually now it's already compiled we can deploy let's get the balance you see it's zero and maybe I can go to this account you see it it has a hundred eaters so we will copy the address we will paste it here this is gonna be our receiver and later let's choose any other address let's choose I don't know this one maybe and if we can specify an amount here so let's say five five thousand it means five thousand we we can make it more actually I don't know how much we it is but yeah it's 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 something here so if I now transact it will give error the reason is that when we send ether from this account to our target account we need to also send some ether to the contract so that the contract can cover some gas expenses and for that reason first we need to put something inside the contract because contract balance is zero as you can see so we will first put something inside the contract let's put one ether it's way sorry it's way more than enough for this exercise now I have one one eater here and now if I call this function it should work you see it worked and now if I check the balance here you see it's 100 plus 5 and in when you call this function the message sender is not the contract the message sender is this account here okay but uh, yeah so that's how it is and see you next time bye bye